What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am back with a video. And I am going to be talking about why I use my camera in service, meaning church. Okay, so first off, I'd like to say, um, so I was my camera, sometimes it's my phone or whatever. Um, but however, I always get permission from the pastor. Now I'm addressing this because, um, not because, oh, I don't have to explain myself because I know my love bugs. Y'all always say, Mom, you got to explain yourself. This I need to explain because I want people to understand that it really is nothing wrong when you record in church. Only time it's something wrong when you're recording in church, if you don't have permission for one, and two, is something sacred, you know, that no one wants to know what's going on, but anything. I mean, there's nothing hidden in God, y'all. So that's the scripture right there. Um, God has been so good to me he is a good god okay there's nothing to hide about him you know nothing that should be hidden anything about him i mean he is nothing no one to be ashamed of he said if you be ashamed of me i'll be ashamed of you before my father i am not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ i am not ashamed i'm telling you i'm gonna say it again i am not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ god has done so much for me god has made ways for me god has kept my life god has kept my family and i can't even name everything that god has done he has done several things for me and i thank and i praise him and i serve him there's no shame in my game um y'all show off who y'all love all the time let me show off who i love so if i got the camera on in service it is because the Lord moved on me to turn on my camera or my phone for others that cannot make it to the house of the Lord. There are some people that are bedridden. There are some people who don't have a car, cannot get the service or whatever. Whatever the reasons may be, um, people can't get to service. So if I'm in a good Holy Ghost filled anointed service, I'm going to share what the Lord is doing. The world needs to see this. And when I went live the other night, Thursday night in church, um, it was a prayer meeting was going on. Um, you know, I had a couple on there saying she has her phone. It's a distraction. It's not a distraction. Um, first of all, when I had my phone, it's not up where, you know, it's distracting others. Um, I had it down were to the floor, of course, because we all were praying. So who, why do I need to hold the phone or the camera to look around at people that's praying? And I didn't need to do that. But I wanted for the ones that wanted to hear, the ones who needed and wanted to be inspired, for them to hear uh, the prayer and maybe get in on the prayer. You know, um, I just feel like sometimes it's a lot of negativity uh, when it comes to Christianity and people, you know, sharing their lives about what God has done for them. What, uh, um, you know, is basically um, sh showing the service uh, or, or anything, you know, got something to do with Jesus Christ. It always seems to be a problem. Well, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't nothing but the enemy. That's the devil. You know, the devil got a problem with God. So, I mean, of course, you're going to have people that come on your channel and, and say things, you know, that they, you know, ought not be saying. But at the same time, you got to understand, I know that that's the enemy. And the enemy can use whoever he wants. Let's, let's be careful to not let the enemy use us in 2019 i'm gonna say that but i'm going to say this um if there is a problem with you you having a problem with me showing uh a prayer in the house of the lord or any type of uh church services going on just ex yourself from my channel just ex yourself from my page and simple as that but i'm not going to stop sharing the gospel of jesus christ i'm not going to stop sharing somebody out there needs to hear a word somebody out there need prayer and the times that people come on and comment and say you need to take that off of there maybe a time maybe you should be praying you don't know what you're going to face the next day you don't know what problem may occur in your life you don't know what's going on in your family at that time that that, that you was on there commenting like that you should have been praying because you never know tomorrow is not promised to us tomorrow is not promised so when i whenever i get a chance to talk about the goodness of jesus and all he has done for me whenever i get time and a chance and an opportunity to 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 film whether it's by phone a camera 
uh, in a church service, whether there's a singing going on, preaching going on, or praying going on, I'm going to do so. And I'm not going to hold back because like I said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of him. So I, I had wanted you all uh, uh, to know this. I'm not talking, speaking on my love bugs because I know it's a lot of them Y'all on my page, um, a lot of y'all um, started praying with us. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a good prayer service. Everybody, I'm telling you, everybody need prayer. Everybody. The Bible says, too, the, that men ought to always pray. We should always pray. There's nothing wrong with that. Prayer is a good thing. There's nothing wicked and evil about it. There's nothing sacred about uh, letting someone hear you pray. Now, someone said this. They said, um, when you pray, you ought to go in your secret closet, though. That is true. When we pray, we ought to go in our secret closet. We ought not be like the hypocrites, as the Bible speaks, that they stand out in the front on store in storefronts and um and uh out in the open and let pray all loud so that they can be seen by others. That's a hypocritical prayer. Yeah, it is. But when I'm filming and camera uh, or, or, you know, filming either way, whether it's camera or by phone, and I'm in the house of the Lord at a prayer meeting, then that's a different story. Nobody's going to have to go in the closet. We're in the house of the Lord. We are where we should be when we are praying. And I just feel like it's very disrespectful to um, come on a um, page where it's prayer and, and then just try to regulate somebody's page you just can't come on somebody's page and regulate their channel and say hey y'all um don't hey don't show this you know just get off the, the channel that's all and you won't see it no more simple as that but i said all this to say that um the ones that do enjoy the prayer the ones that does the uh, enjoy the church services in any type of way you don't ever have to worry about me not showing uh, or film it anymore because of what other people say. You never have to worry about that. I'm not going to take the church from you. You know, I just felt like when I do that, like I said, that be the uh, the power anointing of God that moves on me to show the service. But somebody need to hear a word. Somebody need to be encouraged. There's a lot of people, you know, that feels, you know, like suicidal. Uh, a lot of people, you know, then, then gave up on life. Some people, marriages got messed up. Some people got loved ones got sick. Somebody got told they got cancer. Somebody lost their job. You, we need to hear the good, good words coming from the house of the Lord. This is what we need. We need to hear a good word from God. We need to hear this and understand that these is trouble in the land. These are the last days. Things that's going on in our day and time. We need God. You know, um, I noticed that, um, you know, when I do talk about topics about the Lord, um, you know, my, my views are um, somewhat, they're decent, but they don't be as high as when I'm doing other things. But my thing is, like I said, I will never, ever stop talking about the goodness of Jesus. Because even though those views are low, it's going to come a time, y'all. It's going to come a time where everybody going to be running to the house of the Lord. Because sometimes, I'm telling you, and they're fastly, vastly approaching. Because of the wickedness that is going to occur in this world. I'm telling y'all, work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Make sure your house is in order. Because while I'm on my channel, I'm making sure every single day that my house is in order. That my eyes is uh, dotted and my T's is crossed. So... I don't mind the ridicule. I don't mind the slander. I don't mind all of that because all these things God said is going to happen for those that stand up for Christ. I'll be crucified for his name's sake. Then let me be crucified. For God I live, for God I die. You know, he died for me because I know that once yet I die, I'm going to live again. I wanted to tell y'all that. I wanted to share that with you all. It wasn't, oh, mama, I know you always say, mama, love, you ain't got to explain yourself. This needed to be explained from a simple fact that um, people need to hear a word of God. And I don't want people to feel some type of way like, well, why is she filming? Because a lot of people need to know. A lot of people need to know that it is okay. It's okay. It's like I said, as long as you've got the permission um, from that pastor or whatever to film however in what way and church is fine um it was um a couple of churches that i asked and i wasn't allowed to film in because i guess they had their own live stream coming on and they wanted people to come to that live stream so i never filmed in it 
church or whatever. But however, when I do get permission, I will, I'm going to share, I'm going to share what God has to say. You know, like I said, people, this is, people, these are people only hope. And if you go on, on, on Thursday where uh, it's, the video is titled pray with some of the live chat, you can click on live chat and you can see uh, the stream of what they were saying going up. And it was a lot of people saying, thank you. I haven't been to church in a minute. Uh, I've been having a very hard time getting there. You know, um, if you could just see the different testimonies of people uh, that cannot get to the house of the Lord, then most of you would understand, you know, about sharing the goodness of God. When when I'm talking about sharing the goodness of God, I want to also add this. Um Sharing the goodness of God is not always in a pulpit. Um, sharing the goodness of God is not always walking around from door to door with your Bible in your hand, as some of the Jehovah Witnesses do and other um, denominations do. I'm not going to get into that, but that's not always just talking about that. That's not just sharing the good, sharing the good news, sharing the gospel. You share the gospel. Um, also basically just what I'm doing when I'm on my channel and I speak of the goodness of the Lord. Um, when I take you to church with me and, and the preacher is preaching and you hear sermons, you know, that's sharing the gospel. That's telling somebody about the goodness of God or letting you hear what somebody is saying about the goodness of God. You know, um, I want to do everything that, I can to please the Lord. And, 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 and I want to make sure that, that when I stand before God, that I'm in the right place where he don't say, turn from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you depart from me. I don't want to hear that. So I want to be, you know, out here as far as a woman of God, as I am to share the goodness of God. Um, when you in love with somebody, whether it's your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever, you show them off, you talk about them and you brag on them. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing when you have a relationship with God, when you're in love with him, you show them off, you talk about them, you tell of his goodness. Come on. When a good, when a, when a boyfriend or your husband gives you a gift, you talk about these things. You know what I'm saying? You, oh, my husband sent flowers to my job, girl. Yes, girl. Inside the little thing was a diamond ring. I mean, you brag on them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about why not brag on this good God that we serve. You know what I'm saying? Oh Lord, he woke me up this morning. He clothed me in my right mind. You know, I was, I was, my leg was messed up. He healed my leg and you know, he kept me from the her, uh, all her harm and danger. You know what I'm saying? He, he paid that bill that I thought I couldn't pay all of a sudden. I, the, the, the bill collector called me up and said, it, it's paid. You know, God does things for us day by day, nonstop, 24 seven. And we, 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 we don't talk about him. We don't tell of his goodness. Um, a lot of us take the credit. We say, because of me, I did this. You, and I, you got this because of me. No, I, I got that because the Lord used you. Okay. And, and also the Lord blessed you with a good job. You know what I'm saying? We talk about them jobs that God bless you with. A lot of y'all lose jobs and stuff, uh, because we don't, we weren't thankful for the job when we had it. We complained all the time. Um, uh, we complained about the pay. We complained about the people. So you lost your job. Um, a lot of people, um, got sick and, and, and get sick and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They'll be thankful when they get their health back because when you did have your health, you didn't thank him for it. You know, you don't thank him day by day for the things that he do. You know, like I was saying in the other video, it's simple things. The day, the, the things that we think God's supposed to do, you know, I mean? he don't have to do it, you know, but I thank God for my life, health and strength. I thank him every day. And y'all going to hear me keep saying this because, you know, I appreciate everything that God does for me. And I want to share of God's goodness. Okay. So this is the reason why I hold a camera in church. This is the reason why I film, whether by camera, whether by phone, I want to share the goodness of God. And those that have a problem with it, I mean, that's fine and all just like, oh, she, she in church. Click off of it. Simple as that. I'm not going to stop sharing his goodness, y'all. God has been too good to me. People who know me know it wasn't nobody but a God that has blessed our life and favor. I don't care what may come up against me, come hell or high water. I'm not going to give up on God because he did not give up on me. And I'm not ashamed of him. And I talk about him 
every day. I talk about him all the time because of what he has done for me and who he is to me. You know, I just don't look at him like, oh God, he's a God up there. He's for everybody. I don't even like to refer to God as the man upstairs. It's just to me disrespectful. I like to get more personal with them. You know what I'm saying? Like my father, my friend, my confidant, my comforter, my redeemer, my, my um healer, my way maker. You know, and so much more he is to me than just the man upstairs, because the man upstairs could be a neighbor that make noise every time he walk, you know, but the goodness of God and having a friendship with him and a relationship with him. He's more than just the man upstairs. We acknowledge that man. We give that man a name. You know what I'm saying? He's a great God and I love him. I love him. God said, well, you love me. You'll keep my commandments. I try my best to keep God's commandments. I try my best to uphold God's word. I try my best to walk upright. No, I am not perfect. I fall, but I know one thing. I'm quickly to repent because I know it's unacceptable in the sight of God. It's the sin, the sin that we commit, whether we, we tried to do it, we didn't mean to do it, or we just deliberately did it. You know, it doesn't matter. We sin. If you sin and you made a mistake, just go back to God and say, Lord, forgive me. I repent and turn away from it and don't do it no more. You know, some of us, we keep falling over and over again, but get back up. You know what I'm saying? Get back up. And, and, and what God said, we ought to forgive 70 times seven. Okay. That is 490 times in one day, 400. So you could forgive somebody 490 times in a day. But like I said, you know, ask for forgiveness. And what I had to learn too, you know, a lot, a lot of times I, I uh, be asking the Lord, forgive, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I mean, that's good and all. But at the same time, I was thinking, you know what? I can't keep just going to God saying, forgive me for something. I have to work on it. And, and change for the better, you know, things I have done in my past. You know what I'm saying? I'm slipping out on, let, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm cussing or something, you know, I'm, oh God, cuss that person out again. God, forgive me. Well, you know, you, you can do that, but you're not growing, you know, until you can say, Lord, forgive me, I repent. Repent means to turn away from it. You, we all can have godly sorrow, y'all. We can have godly sorrow. I'm so sorry what I did, man. I'm so sorry, but she made me mad. I'm sorry. I'm just... I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, I mean, if it happened again, I mean, just saying, she may get cussed out again. You, you never know. Godly sorrow worketh repentance, but it's a step you got to make. It's just not, don't just have godly sorrow. Repent. Repent and mean it. Turn away from it and don't go back. You know, I just want to say all of that because I want to say this. God has been a miracle worker in my life. There's so many times I could have been dead. I know I told y'all the testimonies. I mean, it's, it's like there's so much more, so much more in my life that God has just turned around. I'm thankful for the little things. I remember when, when we didn't have food, he took what we didn't have and, and, and made it much. Very little that we had, he made it much. And I remember when the times there wasn't nothing in there, God made a way out of no way. So I'll never forget him for that. I'll never forget him for all the things that he has done for me and turned around without I have money to pay that bill. So anyway, my camera is about to die. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. It's blinking red. But I had to say all that to say I will never give up on God because he never gave up on me. And I wanted to say that I will never turn my camera off in church because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Peace out in Jesus name. I just want to say this too, since I'm in the house and the camera didn't really die out just quick, please go give my sisters a shout out on their channel, y'all. Please go watch their channel. It's called Simply Keys. My girl Keisha and Keishandra got their own channel. You spell simply by S-I-I-M-P-L-Y. Keys, K-E-Y apostrophe S. But that simply is spelled with two I's. Please go follow my sisters, y'all. YouTube, Keisha, Keishandra. Oh, go, go. Go, y'all. Go, y'all. Ah!